Uh, welcome incoming Lions students. Uh, my name is Dr. Beezer. I'm the Spragans mentor and I'm responsible uh, for organizing and officiating the um, Lion Raft Race, which is a, um, a long-standing tradition of first-year uh, students. I'm going to give you a little primer on, on boat building and, and some of the rules so you understand them. So the rules are pretty simple. Uh, cardboard and duct tape only. Uh, no flotation, no airbags, no pool noodles, none of that. Uh, when you decorate your boat, you can decorate it however you like, but the, whatever the decorations are, they can't be in the water. And for the people who are thinking, I'm just going to make like a boogie board, lie down on my stomach and kick, you cannot do that either. You physically have to paddle it. But you're completely, completely free to do whatever you want, as long as it's only cardboard and duct tape. Uh, but we're, you're going to have to make a boat, and then with your Core 100 group, you're going to have to paddle it across in a race, uh, paddle it across Bryant Lake. So we're going to have, uh, I, there's lots of different ways to build boats. There's no denying, there, if you've seen boats in the past, you can look online. Lots of different types of boats. But I'm going to show you how, uh, if I had to build a boat, how I would do it. So everyone's going to be given cardboard before uh, the boat race. And you want to choose the cardboard uh, uh, carefully because some cardboard is big and flat, which is great because it makes a flat surface. Some is a little bit thicker and it uh, adds rigidity and you have to kind of do both. But you're completely, completely free to do whatever you want, as long as it's only cardboard and duct tape. So the first thing I want to do is to, we're going to sit, go down on the ground here, I'm going to lay these flat. To do is simply run uh, a line all the way down. Tape the second side. It has to have two people, generally, um, one male, one female, a bit wide. So what we're going to do is reinforce the inside of the boat using boxes. What you want to be able to do is to use the structural integrity of the box. Make the sides and then fold them up by making a crease and then tape them to the inside of the box. Let's start folding this up into a line. We're going to get a crease, but we don't want to rip it but we do want to fold it so that it's a straight line. Like a cardboard origami, it helps if you fold it because you don't end up um, affecting the structural integrity and you don't have to tape loose pieces to each other. And then we can fold these over to make a reinforced box. And this is where we can start taping all right, so your boat might not look like my boat, but if you follow the directions I told you, it should get you across Bryant Lake, and I hope you have a great time.